Welcome back to KB's Kingdom, cooking with KP. And today, I'm gonna to show you something special. Lobster salad with grilled mango. We're gonna grill everything for this salad. All right, let's get on with it. All right, so here I've got some limes. In total, around about, let's say, uh, about a quarter of a cup, maybe a third of a cup of limes. We're just gonna juice those on top of some thinly sliced red onion. Now, what we're basically doing here is we're making a pickle. We're gonna pickle these onions up and at the same time, we're gonna make the dressing for our salad. So just put all your lime juice on top of those like that. Very easy. And we're just gonna let them sit in that uh, lime juice for around about half an hour or so. Just leave those in the refrigerator and they'll do their thing. We're also gonna add in around about two teaspoons of brown sugar that goes straight in. And we're also gonna add in around about a tablespoon or so of some fish sauce that goes in. It's gonna make it this really nice Asian-y type flavor. All right, now just keep stirring that through. Let that sugar dissolve, very simple. And I'm also gonna add in a little bit of ginger paste that's gonna go in and it's gonna give it uh, a little bit of a spiciness to it. You could also add in a little bit of finely sliced red chili if you want. Okay, so here I've got two lobster tails. Now I'm using my kitchen shears and I'm just gonna cut the shell straight down the center like that on both sides. Very easy to do. And I recommend buying a pair of these uh, kitchen shears, or poultry shears, they work well. Now just get your sharp knife and just continue cutting those uh, lobster tails all the way through, just like that. I've got some butter on my hot plate on my barbecue. My barbecue's on a really nice high heat. Let that butter melt down a little bit. And I'm just gonna add in a little bit of garlic paste on top of that, just to give it a more funky flavor. I'm gonna put our lobster tails down, shell down first, and we're gonna let those cook for about three to four minutes. And I'm also gonna baste these with that uh, beautiful butter. A little bit of Himalayan pink salt on top as well. That's not gonna hurt. It's gonna give it a nice, interesting flavor. And a little bit of white pepper, just to really funk things up and continue that Asian feel. All right. So here I've got my mango, which I've just cut the cheeks off. I'm setting that straight on top of the uh, hot plate as well. They're only gonna take about a minute or two to cook. It's not gonna take very long at all. Now keep an eye on those uh, lobster tails. After about three to four minutes, give them a turn, just like I'm doing there. I'm just gonna grill them flesh side down. Very nice and easy, quick recipe this. See, we're getting some nice color on those mangoes. That's exactly what we want. Yum, if you haven't had something like this before, you don't know what you're missing. So just keep making sure that uh, you get all sides of that lobster grilled off on your barbecue. And around about that six minute mark is all they really need. Don't overcook them, they'll end up being rubbery and very tough to eat. And uh, just continue cooking your mangoes off until they're nice and supple and got a nice sugary grilled coating like that. They're about ready to come off any second now. All right. Now in the meantime, I've already got the rest of the salad ingredients ready. Now we're gonna add half an avocado, just like that. We're just gonna cut these into quarters. Make sure we take the, uh, the skin off. Bit of a close up shot there. There's your two avocados, some nicely sliced lettuce. That goes down. Mmm, yum. Now gonna add in our mango, just like that. How good does that look? Absolutely beautiful. If you haven't, uh, if you haven't uh, already subscribed to this channel, I suggest you do so. All right, add your lobster bits. They get in like that. In goes our uh, onion, our pickled onion that goes down. Mm. I'd like to see you try and make this one at home. Very simple, very easy. Now, we've got our salad dressing, which is the pickling juice, and all we need to do is just drizzle that over the top of the salad. And absolutely beautiful for a uh, summer's day. You don't have to heat up the house, you can do everything outside on the barbecue. And there you go, add a little bit of red chili on top just to give it that little bit of a fire. Yeah, all right. I'd like to see you try and make this one at home. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you like this video, hit the like button. It gives me confidence. It should make you feel warm and fuzzy too. Don't forget, 
add some basil leaves on top. Let's just kind of continue that beautiful Asian flavors. All right, don't forget to hit that notifications bell. You'll be notified every time a new video goes up. More importantly, if you want to learn how to make interesting recipes like this, you need to come and join the family, my family. Hit that subscribe button and you'll never miss another one of my videos again. I will catch you next time. Bye.